Hi everybody, hope everyone's doing really well. I thought that it may be a good idea to give you the bigger picture of why Buxby as a currency is so good and how it reframes what wealth is without compromising what we understand about human nature more or less. So the key thing that really makes a difference with Buxby is where what it's based on. So we're going crazy with uh, speculating on the money market, going into cryptos, all that stuff. But the, all these currencies are made out of code, some thing outside of what people actually do. So Buxby's created by the people using it, and therefore they own the bank that is managing their accounts. And this is free. When you're looking at currency as, a, as an exchange of energy, it can't have a leak. And when there is a bank that is that you pay for its service, there that starts the idea of a currency being a commodity and therefore owned. There is no way to own the bank of Buxby. It's your account. My profit in creating this is that I will be able to have an account in Buxby based around the same rules for everybody else. And that to me has far more wealth and empowerment than money ever will. We're going through these massive cycles of um, people getting depressed, suffering from mental illness, and all these things. But it's, it comes from the fact that you've got to make a living with a currency that's owned by somebody else. So there's always this tension of fear to make ends meet. And even if you're successful, you're one against many that aren't. Human nature wants to trust. When people say humans are greedy, they're basing it on as a derivative of a exchange mechanism that builds on fear. So of course you're going to get antsy and scared and find these different ways to do things. Buxby is about trust. It gives you a safety to discover the things that you want to do with other people who want to do the same thing. It's really, I don't think people understand how disempowering usury currency is. Usury is any cost of a currency, any any cost uh, due to uh, to using a currency. We trusted that the people who offered currency as a means of exchange, uh, that it would benefit us. But when they take a cut, everything starts going to shit, really. Anyone who's being honest, anyone who really wants to empower, would offer a currency for free and find another way to get a return of, of investment. And it's not to do with the bank. And that's how I'm looking at Buxby. I'm teaching people about Buxby and therefore the bank pays me. Not you, not a tax, the bank. Because the bank is not an entity to profit from. It is it is a servant to the people. Any honorable currency would do that. So please understand that humans really want to do good. And there are so many people that want to do good, so many. And yet they're left to just talk about it or try and get political change to happen which will not, and 
they become just icons of of the want of change, but changing nothing. And this is scary because they, they, they will identify with just being able to do that. I read uh, this quote, you know, the road to the road to hell is made with good intentions. And many have intention, but hardly anyone acts on it or has no capacity to know how to. And that's what Buxby's about. In terms of connecting it with user recurrencies, mainstream currencies that we're going through now, because the US dollar is the kind of standard, which again makes no sense, and they're printing the hell out of it, uh, it, it I would peg bucks be one to one with the US dollar, but of course you can't exchange between them. You don't buy Buxby, you choose to use it. Every, every time someone chooses to exchange with Buxby, that creates the amount of money available. So it's pegged directly to the work of the people that want to use it. It's not about a political entity telling people to use it. It's by choice. But anyone who's really thinking about being empowered, who really wants to build on their capacity to be empowered, would use Buxby. It's just incredibly logical. Oh, there's some other things I was going to say. I forgot them. Let me just look for short. I've written a couple of papers, or, or a paper recently. I, if you look for me on Twitter, you will get the some of the links there. And, um, but if you just search Buxby, B-U-X-X-B, -X -X with my logo, because there are some other people using the same name, but not with the same logo, you'll find out more about it. Okay, I'll leave it at that for now. Sorry to be so um, uh, non-fiction. Okay, I remembered now. I wanted to say that the energy that we use on speculating on currency is immense. And all of that, all of those resources could be put elsewhere to empower people and get back to the basics, food, clothing, shelter, tech, healthcare, transport. The, the gambling on money is just prolific and honest, it's wasting people's lives. People want to play the moral card uh, to do this, that it's good for the people. It's good for the people, but understand that there's a selfish interest in empowering others too. Don't think that you're giving your life away to other people. You actually give your life away speculating on money because that's not life. You're just playing with some stupid measure of wealth, which means nothing. You'll discover that. I don't want to say, uh, well, say things like you need, uh, that we are connected to earth and these things. I mean, of course we are, but you want to make a living uh, as everybody else. But if you really want to do this, use a currency that empowers you, that is not speculative, that has no commodity capacity, that isn't trying to make money on money. This is stupid. You're the money. I said once, in any sentence that you say where the word money's involved, change the word to people and see how that reframes what you just said. That's where we have to go if we're going to live. 
in the most exultant way possible. It has nothing to do with faith outside of you. It's got nothing to do with law of attraction outside of you. I can understand aspects of law of attraction, but that isn't going, uh, that's got nothing to do with faith. That's understanding that, that the powers in you, it's what you do, how you act. That you create the law of attraction, not because someone said so. Wow. <clears throat> law of attraction is about, it's not about the money. It's about being positive in, in actions that you take and that you can have others take for everyone to be empowered. Okay, take care.